morning everyone. Today is Tuesday and I'm showing you what's going out in the post today. If you watched yesterday's video or our most recent sales video, you'll know that we've turned on um, Next Day Dispatch just to sort of ramp up sales and see what happens and it's doing really well. So I'm about to show you 17 things that are going out in the post today. Um, and I mean, last Friday, I didn't have 17 things to show you that are sold between Tuesday and Friday um, on eBay. So this is just eBay. I'm hot or I'm out of breath because I've been running around. <sighs> um, so yeah, this is what's going out. Uh, no particular order other than what's in front of me. And um, we've got a bit of everything. We've got sort of pet stuff, bric-a-brac, media, clothing, um, homeware. So yeah, really, really pleased. Um, this is the heart attack item today. This is the one we couldn't find. Um, it's a vintage Three Wise Monkeys uh, metal ashtray, round, possibly brass. I'm not very good at identifying my metals. Um, and this is definitely vintage. It's been listed since May. I got it in a job lot of homeware items from the auction. It cost £2.76 and it sold for £11.99. <laughs> Simon's injured, he hurt his foot at football last night, so I've just been running around doing like lots of things and it's just really humid. Uh, we've got all the windows and doors open because we've got the decorator here uh, painting outside, so yeah. You know, um, right, next up, someone yesterday sent me an offer for something and the offer was really, really low. Now I, when I take offers and all that sort of thing, I'm doing it from the app, the eBay app on my phone. And to me, there's a load of improvements that can be made to that app. I don't know what you think. Um, but uh, I didn't realize that when I declined the offer, because it was really low, that they'd also sent offers for three or four other, other things that were also quite low, but actually combined, I was happy to sell them for that price because they were all going in one parcel to the same person. Um, and yeah, so the first time I, um, so I declined that offer and then saw the next one and thought, oh, it's the same person. Oh, if they want this for that, I maybe would have like accepted that offer. So I think the app should show you sort of more clearly who's offered, um, among other things that I'll maybe mention another time that I think could be improved on the app. But yeah, so this person bought, in the end, um, one, two, three, four, five things. So they bought this... Uh, Flora and the Cruise Grey Harbour Hacky Loungewear Set. Uh, this cost me £4. Um, it's ex Costco stock, had it a while. They also bought, uh, so that was from the auction in the job lot. They also bought these Fila High Waist Sports Leggings in medium, brand new with tags. Had these since January. These cost £3.7p. These are also ex Costco stock uh, from the auction. Um, they bought this. Uh, New Look Brooklyn Slogan Crop Top Bra in medium, brand new tags, cost £1.93 last November from the auction uh, in a job lot of clothing. Um, they bought these Monkey Omer knickers, extra small, brand new tags, these cost £1.76 in March from the auction. And these Ostermark briefs, um, Brand new tags, these cost 59p last August in a job lot from the auction. So they bought all those things um, for a grand total of £19 and 3p. And most of them were clearing stuff that we had marked just to clear down. A couple weren't, but they're just sort of pants left over from sort of some decent um, hauls that we've picked up. So that's that. Um, we've got some other knickers going out. It's all about the underwear lately. Um, these maiden form tame your tummy lace briefs, um, two pairs in there. They cost two pound and six in January. They were also in a job lot from the auction. I think these are also ex Costco stock. I uh, took an offer of ten pounds. Um, so yeah, there's definitely two pairs in there. So that's good. Um, a quick sale was this next one. Um, it's an anti shock dog car seat belt. Um, listed this on Saturday, it was in a pet bundle um, from the auction. I've already sold three things from it, so that's really great. This one, um, not really any money in it, it was £3.38 and sold for £5.99. These um, dog seat belts are really good. We use these in the car. Our dogs go on the back seat with their harnesses 
and then that plugs into the seat belt and attaches to their harness. You wouldn't ever attach it to their collar. Um, and yeah, they're just all comfy in the back seat. And we look after another dog as well, and she's got one. So when all three of them are with us, they're all on the back seat looking cute. Um, next up, now this was in, it's got a zero cost price because it was actually in the bottom of a pallet of books I got from the auction. Uh, I didn't pay very much for the books. Um, got them last year. Um, but they're Catholic medals, uh, Coptic Cross, League, Miraculous, Notre Dame, St. Christopher. They're very old. Uh, yeah, there's four in there. Um, I don't really know anything about um, Catholic stuff, religious stuff at all. Uh, I did a little bit of research, used Google Lens to identify them. Um, so yeah, I listed these in March and they're going to Denmark, I think, or yeah, I think it's Denmark, on via GSP for £7.49. Um, what else? Calculatrice? Calculator? This one was a, or it is, a Casio FX83 GT Plus Scientific Calculator. Uh, it cost 99p in June. Uh, put it on a 25% off promotion and it sold for £8.79. Uh, when I picked it up, I couldn't look it up in the shop for some reason. I don't think I had any signal, so I just took a punt because it's 99p. So not loads of money, but a um, little bit of profit. So that's good. Uh, another cheapy item. Yesterday, I took an offer on these Paddy Power novelty socks. Uh, so Paddy Power as in like the online um, betting sort of betting shop um they we had loads of these we had really hats and we had the lucky pants as well uh lucky pants sold out i think we've got one pair that i they were in a recent bundle that we picked up uh, but we had three pairs of socks left and someone sent us an offer um of two pound fifty on a pair yesterday which i thought oh yeah just take it um need to get rid of these we've had them since november they cost 59p in a big job lot from the auction surprise surprise and then he messaged and said, would I take £2.50 for the other two pairs, like each, £2.50 each? I said, yeah, no worries. Um, so uh, he was really appreciative, appre he really appreciated it. <laughs> and um, he messaged to say that him and his, um, like, I guess, best man and whoever else will look really smart on their wedding day. So I think they're novelty socks for that. Uh, so yeah, they cost 59 p each, there's three pairs and uh, they sold all together for two, uh, £7.50. So that's good. It's worthwhile when people buy them, like, buy more than one pair, it makes it, it's fine. Um, but for £2.50, if I was only sending one, not great, <coughs> but we just needed to clear them down. Um, cross stitch kit, I tend to pick these up sometimes, not all the time. Some of the charity shops I go in, they want 25, 30 quid for them. Um, I'll never pay that, uh, unless it was like some kind of gold thread special edition worth thousands and um, this is a benway nkf cross stitch deer woods winter 14 count two threads um cost two pound 99 and listed in april put it on a 25 percent off promotion and it sold for 13.49 this is our most recent sale this morning and this was uh, something that i listed on saturday or sunday uh, it's in a baby bundle we got from the auction. It's an M&S baby sleep bag, not six months, 2.1 tog. And it cost £1.47. And I took an offer, <clears throat> well, they, they sent an offer. I counted, they counted um, at 14 50 which I accepted. So that's great, One forty-seven into 14 50 um, I've got a few of those, well, different branded um, baby sleep bags, but we've done well with them before. We bought a whole load from Boots Clearance two years ago maybe and did really well on them um, so that was good um, let me get these I'll do one of these big ones it's Monopoly um, what did we it is uh, Monopoly King's College London edition board game now there's loads of pieces missing so we listed it as spares only it cost one pound in one pounds a pound in January and it sold for £6.37 and it's going GSP. Where do we, where's it going? Um, it is going to 
Germany. And what's interesting is on, on eBay, it's got £6.37 as a total price with two question marks in front of it. Not seen that before. Um, so yeah, that's good. And then another one, bit of a bad buy. Um, had it a while, spent a lot, Simon spent a lot of money on it. Um, we've both done it, we've both spent money on things and they've been a fail, but don't know till you try. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Complete Series, Collector's Edition, Blu-ray, 20 discs, episode one to 131. Paid £112.80 in March, I think it was from the auction, and sold for uh, £145. And it's going GSP, uh, also, um, is it going, oh no, it's going to America. Uh, so yeah, they took a while to pay. Um, <laughs> this one's funny, well, funny to me. I um, Simon was sorting out the barn the other day, getting a load of stock organised, and I laid my eyes on this and thought, that needs to sell. Um, when's that gonna sell? And it's sold like within a couple of hours, so I just need to lay my eyes on everything we've got and maybe it'll sell. Um, but it's a vintage ceramic egg holder, basket style, pink and white with cherry blossom on, stores four eggs, which just isn't enough in this house. We get through about six a day. Um, it cost 276 as part of a sort of house clearance bundle I got at the auction um, in June. We put it on 25% off promotion and it sold for 15.99. Next up, this is a very quick sale. Listed these on Sunday. There's are a six pack of lemon print knickers for um, age four to five years. Brand new tags, cost $1.47 in a job lot of underwear I got from the auction, and these sold for $11.99. Um, a boomerang item, this one's come, like we've sold it, and it's come back, and we've sold it again. So the reason it got returned the first time is because it wasn't good enough for a gift. Well, it wasn't advertised as new, um, so they got it wrong. But it's Port Merion Crazy Daisy Breakfast Set. Uh, basically, it's an egg cup, a spoon, and a toast holder. It's really cute. Uh, cost four pounds in April, and it's sold for twenty nine ninety nine. So let's just hope it doesn't come back again because it's not listed as new, although it's in the original packaging. Um, it's listed as um, sort of um, used, but unused. So. The condition note is used, but I've, um, but I've put this, it's never been used, but the box has got wear and tear, so, yeah. And then, I don't know if you know, but I recently said that I'd lost my mojo for sourcing. Um, sort of in the last sort of six weeks, when we've been chasering to charity shops. Uh, Simon's always sort of come away with bread and butter items, so like DVDs and board games. I mean, I, I do find them as well but we kind of say they're Simon's stock. And then as far as like bric-a-brac, clothes, anything like that, a sort of mine area, I was coming back with maybe one, two, sometimes nothing. Um, so I picked these up because I literally, we were out in this town that we hadn't been to since before lockdown. And um, it's not an affluent town by any means, um, but we have done well in the past. So I saw these and thought, oh, they'll do. And they were a pound each, and um, they are Perina or per, per, yeah Perina Baker's um, dog treat tins. Um, this one's quite cute on the back. There we go. They were yeah they were a pound each, so two pounds in total. Um, I got them in well I listed them in July right at the start, so I think I got them at the end of June, and just took an offer of thirteen pounds. So yeah, quite happy with that. That these designs weren't actually, um, I couldn't see any on eBay, other designs in that, uh, while that brand sell. Um, so if you see them, uh, do like, look them up and consider getting them if they're cheap because I think people collect them and they're just like good for dog treats. Um, so yeah, that is everything that's going out today and I will be back uh, to show you what's going out tomorrow. It's the next day. I've got changed. <laughs> Um, and we have some orders going out today because if you remember we're doing next day dispatch so we've got a healthy uh, lot of orders again which we're really happy about um, I will go through what we've sold let me just put that 
that there. Right, okay. Um, first things first, another one of these. Uh, these have been in previous videos because we bought a job lot from the auction. And why is that? I've got the wrong page loaded up. There we go. 11 things going out. Uh, since yesterday lunchtime, so today's Wednesday, so Tuesday lunchtime to 11.24 today. Uh, so this is a Sounding Bear compact camping inflatable sleeping pad. Sold a few of these, this cost £7.39. Had, had it since February, we've still got 10 left and it's sold for £18.99. Very quick um, sale, some knickers. Snickers every day. Um, these were listed Monday, I think. Uh, so today's Wednesday. They are Marks and Spencer's Rose Silk and Lace French Knickers, size 14, brand new tags. Listed them this week. They, the cost price was £2.35 in a job lot from the auction and I took an offer of £17.50. They are current MS stock, so they are on the website. Um, this was our most recent sale today. Uh, this leather bound notebook journal um, in red, brand new tags, cost £2.94 in February as part of a stationary bundle from um, the auction surprise prize, and this one sold for £11.66. Mm -mm -mm. Just cheapy, this would have cost pence uh, in a job lot of um, computer games that Simon got from the auction. It's got a pound cost price, but I think it's actually less. Uh, this sold for £5.52. Another mint velvet sale, so <laughs> to the mint velvet woman that upped their prices, we've made lots of profit on these already and I've still got things to list. So these are mint velvet denim short shorts, size 14, and they do have um, some like marks on the turn up, so I have washed them, couldn't get it out, so I've mentioned it on the listing. Um, these were a couple of quid, I haven't worked out the cost price yet. Because uh, I spent £33 on like, 11 items plus um, a pair of Birkenstocks that sold for £39.99 already. So this is the fourth lot of mint velvet to sell and these sold for £20. So we have done really well on that lot. Oh, we've got a vintage sale. Blimey! Have, don't list anything on vintage anymore. Um, I literally am just trying to... I've just left everything that's for sale on there and if it sells on eBay I'll remove it off vintage and vice versa but this is a Nike full zip hoodie small grey and had it up for £8.99 because it's got a, a, a like a mark on it stain here only a tiny stain um, and I've declared it in the listing so I had it up for £8.99 they said would I take five uh, yes of course just get it out of my way so that's good a really quick sale. So a few weeks ago, well quite a few weeks ago, Simon was just watching the auction and uh, sometimes we'll just bid on bags, even if we don't really know too much about them, um, if no one else seems to be interested at the time, and we get them cheap. So he picked up what we called the flag bag um, for £19.74. That was like included all the fees and hammer price and everything. And I opened it up the day before yesterday and in there was two flags, one that says cold beer, that's been hanging on our washing line. Another one that's the Isle of Man TT, that's hanging on the washing line. Um, a life jacket, two walking sticks, a gun cleaning kit. These things you put on the handlebars of your motorbike that you put your hands in in the winter to keep your hands warm. Uh, a fishing tackle bag and this and this is a sort of um tactical style poncho so not like your pocket sized poncho that you might wear like at disney world or something um uh, these this is like really robust reusable really thick quite heavy in a bag and uh it's sold within 24 hours for 18.99 so yeah it's like a military style poncho and uh, the cost price, which I've only just worked out this morning because it sold so quickly, I hadn't had time to list any of the other bits yet, uh, it was £2.19, so great pickup. Um, I'll try, 
try to keep it quiet because it's really loud. Uh, but it's a cowbell. Uh, picked it up in a charity shop. Uh, the brand is E-Star. Looks like Easter, but E-Star. And it's a 10 inch steel cowbell. Uh, sort of in the style of like an American football. Cost three pound in June. Took an offer of 1367. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, another mint velvet sale off the, off the woman. So. Um, this, this is a pair of mint velvet derby biker jeans, size 12. And again, haven't worked out the cost price, couple of quid max, and these sold for 22 99 and I paid 33 for the whole lot. Uh, disappointing sale, one we've had a while, and we just cleared down because it's old stock. It's a Maasai cardigan in large, um, sort of thing you'd wear over a dress, maybe at a wedding or something. Um, I wouldn't, but other people might. Um, it cost four pounds and got it in August 2020, uh, so been around too long. Um, had it on vintage as well as eBay, but it sold on eBay for I just took an offer of three forty nine. I mean, just go, just go away. Um, two more things: a necklace. This was on. Vinted and possibly Depop. I'm not sure about that, but it's definitely on Vinted. Um, it's just a, a wire necklace, and I put autumnal tone stones. And this cost 24p in June last year, and it sold for six pounds. I don't mind hanging on to the jewellery because it takes up. Like we've got a really small shoe box um, with all the jewellery that we've got listed in there, so it takes up zero room. So I'm not bothered when that sells. It sells. And this one, this was in a recent haul video, it's a chicken, so like chicken sitting on a basket, you put your eggs in it, sort of kind of vintage style. Uh, so it's a ceramic hen chicken on nest, basket egg holder, uh, paid £5 and it sold for £17.99. Um, the one we had before actually sold for a little bit more and it had um, some flaws on it, it had like a couple of little sort of grazes on the glazing, but um, sometimes you can find these really cheap, other times they're really expensive in chasers. So if you can get it for like a couple of quid, um, any make, um, yeah, get it because they do sell. Um, yeah, and that's it. That's everything that's going out today on Wednesday. So I hope you have good sales. Have you changed your dispatch to one day? Has it made a difference? Are you thinking about it? Give it a go because it's worked for us. Right, I'm about to show you Wednesday and Thursday sales up until, well, today's Friday, so 10 o'clock Friday morning. Um, Luna's here, Snoopy's here too, um, but Luna's helping with the video today. Uh, as you've seen from our Instagram, or some of you have seen from our Instagram, we've had a bit of a rubbish week. Uh, sales have been excellent. Um, but it's just typical, isn't it? We put on next day dispatch and then uh, everything sort of turns to rubbish. Uh, Simon is on crutches, he's um, really, we thought he'd broken it, um, it could still be questionable whether he's got a fracture or not, but his foot at football, um, I'm not very well, and we're looking after a dog that's got a bandage on her leg, uh, my mum can't help, she's got an open fracture on her foot, and uh, my sister's self-isolating because she was out with some people, one of whom has since tested positive for Covid. So it's all a bit rubbish at the moment, um, but we are muddling through because we're a great team and we always seem to muddle through. So I am going to show you, we've got all eBay sales apart from one Depop actually. Snoopy, come on, be a good boy, thank you. Uh, yeah, one's Depop. So well, let's do this. Um, sales have been good. Uh, which we're really pleased about and um, we've got a nice selection of things um, including clothes, shoes, accessories, Snoopy, come on, he's a little minx. <laughs> right, first of all, and I'll do it in just what's here, uh, we've got this Starbucks Las Vegas mug. We had a Starbucks mug um, the other day as well, didn't we? This one is... Uh, a you are here collection these are really nice i think these are the ones that i'd probably collect if i was collecting them but honestly our mug um cupboard is overflowing as it is so i don't need to collect mugs and i don't drink tea and coffee so it'd be a bit pointless 
This one was one ninety nine, and it sold for twenty two forty nine, and that was on a twenty five percent off promotion. I think Luna's had enough. Have you had enough? Say hello. <laughs> And next up, we've got these coasters. Simon picked these up. He actually uh, picked these up um, in the same shop as he picked up a Ryder Cup sort of gift set that we sold a couple of weeks ago. You might have seen that. And they're Pimpernel coasters, brand new and sealed. And a history of golf. They cost two pound in April and they sold for 19.99. I thought they might have sold um, for Father's Day, but no. Uh, this is a clearance item that I've been wanting to get rid of for ages. It's a Disney Princess glass and it has been hanging around for way too long. It is uh, Dreams of Dancing. It cost question mark. I put question marks. I can't I obviously didn't know at the time how much I paid for it. It could have been from a car boot or something um, when we used to go to them occasionally. Um, but yeah, I listed it in January and it's, we've just got it sold for £5.39. Uh, we've seen these a few times. These are the Virgin Atlantic little plain key rings. We sell them as pairs because we've got a lot of them. And these ones um, sold for £4.81 and they cost 66p. Apparently we've got six pairs left. I'm sure it felt like more. Um, another little clearance item, it was like just left over from an auction bundle. They're patchwork squares, so people that make patchwork quilts or other crafting items. Um, there's a seven pack of sort of matching a spotty one, stripy ones, gingham ones in there. It cost £3.25 in January from an auction bundle, so just sort of fodder, sold for £3.49. And this was a bad buy. Got this when I was um, sourcing last year with Shopping with Sophie and Kez Online. And uh, yeah, I should never have picked it up. And I remember I had so much stuff that I was carrying because it was a really good um, sourcing trip that looking back, I wish I'd left this behind because it made life so much easier. And this, I think it cost five pounds. Did it cost five pounds? That is the question. Why can't I find it? Um... Yeah, five pounds in August. No, it says October. Why did I say August? October last year cost five pounds, sold for four seventy three. It's a flying eagle abacus abacus game. Chinese vintage apparently. Uh, this was a recent um, item that I listed last weekend. It's a Peppa Pig Let's Fly a Kite Charles Rain umbrella. I might use it today, I might cancel the sale and use it today because it's pretty horrible out there. Um, it cost £1.47, listed it this month and sold for £9.99. Um, Scribble Scramble, I had this when I was um, growing up, loved it. It uh, cost £3 in May and sold for £14.84. It's the original one. Does it have a date? Oh, I'm not getting it back out. Um, some more Rohan trousers. Uh, I picked a massive load up of the like massive load of these up. I'm gonna sneeze now. From the auction um, a couple of weeks ago, I think I got bless me something like 38 pairs, and it was like an even split of men and women's. Uh, these ones are Rohan women's dry essential trousers and extra small. Uh, they cost £2.62, listed them this month, and this pair sold on offer for £15. I won't go any lower than £15. Um, sort of average price they're selling for is £18.99 for the men's, but these uh, women's extra small, I don't want to hang on to them because they are such a small size. So that's a pretty good one, pleased about that. And plus, when I bought them, they came in plastic tubs, so I got the tubs as well, so win-win. Um, and they're all stored in there at the moment. Uh, but I will find these for them afterwards. Um, a Jules Nadine Apple Spot dress, size 12. Um, bad buy, picked this up, paid too much in April. Uh, £6.52, sold for £12.75. I just took an offer because it's a size 12 and I don't want it anymore. It's a summer dress and yeah, it doesn't look too summery out there. 
Uh, moving on, it doesn't look too summery out there, which is why we've sold some thermal tights. Um, these ones were from the auction. And these, they're Hot Stuff Company Thermal Fleece Tights Double XL. Brand new tags. Cost 176 in March from the, from the auction in an underwear bundle. Uh, put 25% off promotion on these um, to get rid and it, they went for 5 99 um, which is good because they've been around a bit too long and um, yeah, I want them gone. What else have I got? Oh, this is like the oldest item, or one of the oldest items that we've had. <laughs> I, I remember buying it. I bought it because it was brand new tags, that was it. I should never have picked it up. Um, it's a golf skirt. It's four, the brand is 4F drawstring waist, uh, size large, brand new tags, had it since August 2019 and it cost me three pounds and sold it for three pounds 20, yay! Couldn't believe it. A woolly hat, definitely a mix of autumn, winter and summer at the moment. Uh, this is a kid's hat and we've had this not that long but it's just a cheapy. It's a beanie hat in mustard yellow with like a little face on the bottom. Uh, it cost £1.33 in January. Again, this was on a 25% off promotion and it sold for £6.74. This one is a recent um, pickup. Um, this was in an auction bundle and it's a corset and the brand is Corset Story and it's an overbust ivory ditzy flower embroidery ribboned corset in size 10, brand new tags, cost £4.23 and it sold for £31 and it's going to Australia GSP. Um, stick on bra, the, yeah, these everywhere don't you? This is a boohoo one. Uh, this sold for about £6 on Depop. It's just auction fodder. Possibly the last boohoo item we've got. Um, another course it sold. This one's called Light Up Your Light to Life. We've sold another one of these before. They were in an auction bundle of underwear. Uh, I don't think they're anything special. It's a 2XL uh, waist trainer corset and it's brand new tags. Cost 176 in March. Uh, this was on the 25% off promotion as well and it sold for £6.74. Some Converse, these are quite funky actually, they're like mo moccasin style with like a fringe. And these, yeah, CTAS mock fringe ergot high tops, uh, cost £8.99 in June and sold for £26 and 3p. They were from a charity shop. Um, one of these again, the Standing Bear inflatable sort of camping pad. Uh, as you know, we've got a few of these. This one costs 739, well they all cost 739 um, in February from the auction. There's a big sort of um, big bundle of loads of them. And this one sold for 18.99. We've got nine left. And these, I didn't even get a chance to put them in a bag and put them away. I was like, I, they were in an auction bag that Simon got for me. <laughs> he, he just bought a really cheap one and thought that I'd have fun sort of dealing with it, which I did. And I was like, what are they? I thought that you maybe put them on golf clubs and um, then I thought they some kind of boxing glove but then there's a hole in the end and Google Lens um, directed me to the fact that they are sort of handlebar hand warmers for your motorbike or moped and uh, they're waterproof and they're called motorbike muffs they cost two pounds I haven't added it to the listing yet uh, two pound, I've got it written down here, two pound 19. Uh, listed them this week and they sold for 9.99. I couldn't sell them for any more um, because there's a few for sale already um, by other sellers. So I sort of just matched the price and they sold, so that's good. And a few more bits to show you. Uh, a little while ago, not that long ago, I picked up a job lot from the auction of foul fashion blazers. Now we've sold foul fashion shirts before and um, they're, not, they're not too bad if they're cheap enough. But the thing is with foul fashion, every item is different. It's like they use offcuts of different fabrics and make blazers, shirts, blouses, that sort of thing. Um, all to the same sort of template, but all the fabrics are different. So you might get this fabric on another one, but not necessarily in this place. 
So I picked up a load from the auction, but I didn't know what size they were. I was hoping it'd be sort of mixed sizes or large sizes, and they weren't. They were all size eight, um, which is a bit of a pain. So I thought, oh yeah, I'll just list them all um, uh, on one listing, but they're all different, so they need different pictures. So I just took a picture of one and listed one to start with in June, and it sold this week. So this cost £2.42, and it sold for £10.99, and I've got at least another 10, maybe 19. I can't remember if there was 20 or not. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've got those to list. So that one's brand new and going good. And then we've got a couple of breakables. Where's my squizzers? Yeah. This one is definitely like an acquired taste. Look at that. I think I might have shown this on an unboxing video before. Um, it is a Bohemian Czech Art Deco Tango glass uh, rose posy bowl with the metal frog on the top. That's what that's called. Uh, 14 centimeters tall. This one cost two pounds seventy six. I uh, listed it in June, and it's sold for sixteen pounds. And it's going to Denmark, I think. GSP. That's good. And then I think this next one was in the same job lot. Um, no, it wasn't. I haven't worked out the cost price for this yet because I'm still sort of slowly working through um, this big lot I got from the auction. I sort of flip between sort of breakables and other bits and bobs um, because it can be dirty work dealing with this sort of thing from the auction. Uh, they've been collecting dust for years. Um, this is a vintage vase in cobalt blue with white marble effect pattern. It's 19 centimetres tall, ceramic, and I don't know what it cost, but it wouldn't have been more than three pounds. And it sold for £12, I took an offer, uh, because I didn't buy the job lock from the auction for this, I bought it for the glassware. Um, so this was just in there as well. So yeah, happy to let that go on an offer. Uh, so that is everything. That's everything that's going out today in the post. Uh, anything else that sells today will go out in the post on Monday and uh, we should be hopefully a bit more back to normal next week uh, with our sort of videos and um, just work because I haven't listed anything for a few days. It's just been crazy. Um, so yeah, but thanks for watching. I hope you've liked the video this week. There's obviously been a lot of items going out because we turned on same day, next day dispatch and it's worked, worked really well. I've definitely seen an increase well, I'm not a numbers girl, but um, over 100%, maybe over 200%. Could it be over 300%? I don't know, I'll let you know. Um, but it's really worked. So if you've got the time to do it, you should maybe consider doing it because um, it's, it's, it's worked for us. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Pop it over to Instagram as well. Message us um, over there if you want to. Um, feel free to comment here. We uh, do try and reply to all comments. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.